Hello, this is MCC Daytona. My name is Nick Lopak. We are the Embry Riddle Suit Lab, and today we are testing Luna Moth. Can I get a comm check? Yeah, I'm Suit Lab. This is Red Dove. We've got you in the All right, we're going to begin with a quick test setup. If you could uh, get our device mounted to your utility belt, I think it is already. I see that. Okay, if you could just confirm that your right hand can reach the camera and grab it by the stock. All right, looks good there. Okay, uh, you can remove your hand from the camera. We're going to start with a quick familiarization session. Uh, okay. So just a quick overview of the tool. Uh, for attachment and detachment of the camera, you're going to move the tool up and down in a vertical motion relative to the uh, utility belts. Uh, so if you could grab the camera by the side, by the handle, we'll try in a detachment. So you just have to pull vertical upward. Yeah, if you want to stabilize the utility belt there. And uh, yeah, the camera looks a little rough. Maybe try grabbing it by the bottom plate of the camera. There it is. That looks a bit easier. I think the camera's a little unstable on that plate. If you want to try grabbing it by the bottom of the plate uh, from now on, or you can try it with the camera again. So to attach it, you just, yep, just like that, and try to maintain a vertical alignment to the moth there. Yep. What was that? So you've just done a detachment and attachment, if you want to practice that twice more. Okay. Got it. All right. Are you comfortable with the detachment and attachment process? Yep. Sure. And uh, one-handed uh, detachment, a little diff tricky due to the stability of the utility belt. Is that too difficult? Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be probably an attachment inside the, the belt. And the camera's going to loosen the budget, so uh, it kind of requires two hands from that standpoint. Uh, so we're going to move on to uh, primary test one. So try to look away from in the, towards the horizon. Don't look directly at the tool. Make sure it's out of your line of sight. And an attachment and detachment. So detach and attach without looking. All right. Detach with your bone. And attach. Excellent. So now if you could repeat that one more time, maybe keeping your glove a little bit further away from the moth, uh, the device itself, possibly further down the swing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the belt looks a bit loose, but that's okay. Detachment and go for an attachment. Looks good. And to confirm it's properly attached, you once it's in, you want to push down until it can't move anymore. That That's how you confirm a uh, good attach. Uh, so now if you could rate this uh, ease of use for detachment out of sight on a scale of one to five, one being super easy, five being very difficult, ease of detachment. Uh, detach is a tour. It's a it's a little sticky, but uh, it's still pretty straightforward to do, and it's easy to be handled, and it's easy to do uh, out of line of sight. Okay. Now, can you rate the same ease of attachment? Uh, I will give attachment a two. Uh, actually, it pops in a little easier than it pops out. Uh, and uh, the bottom brush is not too bad, you know, especially with a little bit of training. Uh, but you do have to kind of get it pretty much on target, so I'll give it a two. Okay. All right, so we're going to move into secondary testing. Uh, we're just going to simulate use here. Uh, so if you could just look towards a site for mission interest, maybe some cool rock in the distance. And I want you to do your best lunar parkour on the way over there and observe how the tool moves in the belt. Uh, see if it's shaky at all and do some lunar parkour. All right, 
We'll stop it there on your descent. Great job. Right, first David. Didn't pop out. Didn't feel like it was going to pop out. Okay. Yeah, good to hear. All right, uh, so we're going to do some further movement testing. So with your feet firmly planted, kind of just shake your, shake your hips vigorously, kind of just back and forth, try to shake that tool belt, uh, see if the there's any movement in the tool, or just kind of shake around. Is this part of the test or just to get black on the no, trail? No, this is, this is serious testing in the MBO. Hardcore space testing. Okay, that will confirm that test. Uh, next, uh, if you could bend both knees into a squat and kind of stand up quickly. Right. And you can do that once more. I just any notes on that? It looks looks to be stable. So now we're going to do a, as high as possible. If you could do a vertical lunar jump. Okay. And you can repeat that once more. Excellent. All right, final move mobility test. If you could kneel down on one knee and then lean towards the ground, you can kind of reach for a rock or something. Try to lean on the side of your tool. Yeah, just like that. Kind of lean. Looks good there. And any yeah. impediment? Yeah, it looks good. Any impediment to that movement? Doesn't look like it. Uh, so now, if you can return to standing, um, so you can rate the stability of the tool while attached on a scale of one to five. One being very stable, five being very unstable. Um, repeat the scale again. One being very stable, five being very unstable. Uh, it was a one, very stable, very stable. Okay. And, uh, now, if you could detach the camera. Clear you. Okay. Perfect. And taking a picture in the distance, take a picture, rotate um, your body to another point of interest, take another picture, and stop the tool. So, kind of your best lunar photographer in, in impersonation, and then stow the tool between each picture and see how it is just, you know, smoothly doing operations. All right. Yeah, it's a little challenging to stay, you know, without knowing precisely what it is. So, without a bit of training, and, um, maybe on the swing arm it moves. It's not if bad, you, but yeah, if you kept the swing arm in that position and don't touch the swing arm when you attach it, could you recall where it is and kind of attach that way? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, cool. To our final testing phase, dust testing. Uh, you can choose one of the bins nearest to you. Uh, we'll have you detach uh, the entire assembly. So using the bayonet, uh, keeping the camera the Luna Moth, and uh, try to submerge the entire Luna Moth assembly. Don't worry about submerging the camera in the dust. That the Luna Moth and the Luna Moth are submerged in dust. Just confirm once that's been done. Uh, Excellent. So you can remove the entire assembly to your body. And if you can cycle the Lunar Moth 10 times, uh, feel free to use sight and stabilize. As you All right. And if you want this is TD, just a reminder, do not be handling rocks with the gloves. They don't want you picking up those rocks. They might have sharp edges on them. Okay. So one uh, cycle. Yeah, my camera's just a little loose. Kind of missing the pain. I'm not noticing much difference. Okay. I'm going to submerge in that particular simulator. Sure. Yeah, 
there's just a lot of a lot of looseness in the system. Yeah. Turn that belt in the camera itself. Sure. Yeah. To, be, to aid in that, the tool side uh, should be definitely vertically aligned. That looked like a smooth attachment, just like that. And uh, we're coming up on our time, I believe. Can I get a confirmation on that? That our time is just about up. Three minutes. Three minutes. Copy that. Yes. Uh, so yeah, if you'd like to leave any further comments on the system, uh, maybe try. Uh, it seems that the utility belt is fairly unstable, um, but that's okay. You know. So uh, in terms of just the Luna Moth itself, how does it feel to remove? And uh, like, is it is it smooth? Is it the appropriate amount of force? Uh, it's actually it's a decent amount of force. It it tough to pull. Um, when I grab the grab the camera by the bracket, it, it actually pops out pretty well. Right. It, it, it goes in with the snap it in, but I think that is actually good. It, you know, you know that it's in there securely, so I think overall it's a it's a it's a good amount of force both ways. Right. And if the utility, can you imagine the Luna Moth uh, on a fixed location on the suit? If it didn't move around, would you build maybe some muscle memory with the location? It might not be as difficult to attach. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, it would be pretty easy. We just a little bit of training. Right. Uh, you appreciate the ease of use of not interacting with the moth, uh, or would you prefer a hard lock on the tool itself so that you can just put keep it perfectly uh, secure? Yeah, I appreciate not having a lot, so not having a secondary motion. I think okay. it stays in place pretty well, and, uh, you know, if I drop it, I can just go pick it up. Surely. And I don't, I don't know, it's probably difficult for you to see, but did you notice any dust sticking to the device anywhere upon removing? If you like, you can test that again. Want to put uh, the... No, in this, this simulator did not really stick in the water, so... Sure. Um, okay, yeah, we're pretty ahead on time. Uh, if you want to just continue uh, attaching and detaching, any last feedback? Um, if not, uh, I'll allow us extra time to get us ahead of schedule, but we appreciate you testing it. Sure. Well, I look forward just... to the remainder of your feedback later. Thank you. This has been a little daytime.